Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's David here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Sintro. And two videos I would recommend watching before you watch this one is how to make a game boot by me and how and how to install a Sintro onto your PSP, also my video. I would recommend watching these two, and once you have watched them, you can now watch this one. All right, so let's get on, um, let's get on with the tutorial. I'm not going to be going in depth as I did in the game boot video because it's basically the same thing. But it's re really simple and I don't actually want to make a new central. I'm happy with the one I have now. But So I'm just going to use a picture but you know just you when you want to make one just use your video clip or whatever. You can download it from anywhere, YouTube, whatever, etc. First off, you need a video editing pro program such as Sony Vegas, Windows Movie Maker, or whatever you want, really. Drag it to the timeline, and you're not gonna want a game boot probably longer than six seconds. Um, I'm gonna make like a four second game boot. Okay, you know, and once you're happy with everything that you've done, insert text. Yada yada. Insert Once you're done, we're under your video. Make sure it's set to AVI, and we're gonna name this one Centro.AVI, and save it to the desktop. Finish, close. You can exit out of this. No, I don't want to save it. And Sony Vegas leaves behind these kind of files. I don't know why. They're like backup files. You can d just delete them. And we have the video now, but it's like not sized at all. It's not sized to the proper dimensions. Okay, so first off, the next step is we are going to have to open up Virtual Dove Mod, which comes with the download um, package in the description. Open up Virtual Dove Mod.exe. Go into File open video file and open up the centro.avs file which is right there and it's resizing the video to the proper dimensions for a PSP okay so you, we're gonna go into next once the video is resized go into streams stream list click on save wave and name this one centro dot wave save it to the desktop then we're gonna click down here and disable mute the video click OK file save as um name this one Centro one dot avi and again save it out and here's our resized video to a proper p dimensions for a PSP you can go ahead and delete the old one delete this yeah whatever and here is our wave file now go into ease audio converter which you must install it's also in the download package in output format set it to wave next just drag and drop the audio centro dot wave into here go into settings Make sure the, your settings are like this, okay? Then click OK, and then click Start. And here it is, Centro.Wave. Exit out of this first. Yes, I want to quit. I'm going to drag and drop Centro.Wave onto the desktop, and copy and replace. Okay, so by now we're almost done. Go into UMD Stream Composer. And right here, go into bin. And if you're on 
if you're on Windows 7 or Vista, delete this file right here. Delete umdstreamcomposer.exe.manifest. Delete that if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. If you're on XP, don't worry about it. And I don't know why I just closed that out. So whatever, once you delete it, start up UMD Stream Composer. Now I can exit out. Okay, you're going to want to click on new. We're going to name this one Centro. Project name. Uh, PSP. Centros. Doesn't matter. Click next. Click, check this box. PSP movie format. Maximum clip size, probably about 2 megabytes, so it'll be good. Finish. Now go to video encoding settings and set this to 350 and the bottom one to 450. It would give you pretty good quality for this. Now click on video source up here, click on open, and open up your central.avi file, then click OK. And I go to audio source, open, open up your centro.wave, and click OK. Now go up here to run, encode plus multiplex. Okay, so once it's finished, close this, exit out. Um, no. Go into your documents folder. You should see a folder called UMD Stream Composer. Go on to Mux Work. Go into PSP Centros, the one we made. 0001. And here's your PMF file. Drag this, I mean, MPS file. Drag that out to the desktop. Now, final step open up your MPS to PMF converter and go into Game Boot. And drag and drop that 0001.mps file into the game boot file. And run this game boot converter.batch file. Run it. And there's your final PMF. Now, the final step for this would be just renaming, simply renaming it centro.pmf. Renaming central.pmf, you know, connecting a PSP into USB mode. Alright. So, yeah, whatever. You connect your PSP. And on the rooter and memory stick right here, just drop central.pmf into there. So you're just drag and drop it into here but I don't want it I just I don't want it because I'm happy with the one I have now alright I just did that so I can show you guys how you make a central alright well thank you for watching my video please like comment and subscribe